Right, hey guys, here we are, Murray Bridge Speedway. It's a Friday night, we've got a double header coming up, and it's just wingless tonight and super sedans. They've got the Graham Cowland 42 lapper, so Graham being a well known super sedan driver back in the day, unfortunately passed away recently, so uh, they're having a race for him tonight. It was always good to watch back in the late 70s and 80s in his especially in his EH Holden uh, number 42 so uh, they're on tonight and looks like they've got a pretty good feel to those a few interstaters and here we've got I think 40 cars or 38 or something for the wingless so tonight three heats and just a feature and then tomorrow night one more heat and a B main and an A main so uh, First name for us is hopefully she's in one piece so we can make it to the show tomorrow night. And then the next name is try and sneak into that uh, A main for tonight. And that should, if you happen to do that, that, that'll get you pretty close to making the 60 lapper, which is the feature race tomorrow night. So I think we're all set up here. We've got the pitchers all set up here. Nucky's there, Daryl Nucky, Trevor. We've got Joel over here, ex-Australian champ, and here we are, all set up, Damien's here, and next door we got Tyson. Hey guys. Righto guys, she was a bit of a uh, hectic one there in between heats one and two. Car conked out on the way around to the start. He managed to get it going again, that's why he started at the back. We're 95% sure the little toggle switch which turns it on is knackered. So we've just been rushing around finding another toggle switch. Obviously nothing would fit easily. And uh, We've managed to get one and jam it all in there and we think it's going to go, so see how we go. Another stout field on the racetrack right now. Certainly is. Welcome, Vickers. Leading the front row, Gazelle, Martin, McCarthy, Southby, Broom, Truen, Tyler and Evans. Full field, 10 cars, 10 laps. Heat 7, event 9, thanks to Lonsdale competition tyres. And welcome out of the Amca National class last season. And Vickers, a young gun, lead us to racing here in the next 10-lap journey. Gail Gazelle comes in hot. So does McCarthy. Doesn't pay off for Dale Gazelle, but McCarthy's into third. Sam Martin charging his way, and McCarthy looking to the top side early. As well, Martin and Gazelle very tight on the exit of turn four. That could have been troublesome for the Lewis and Hawley number 33. As Nate, Chicken Nugget Truen, sneaks to the inside of those two battling and looks to the inside of its battle for fourth on screen. <laughs>
day guys, heat two. He dropped a couple of spots, but uh, he was out in the dirt giving it a crack and pretty tough heat. Had a bit of a tussle there with Mitch Broom and Nate Truen. And uh, yeah, not too bad a race. So I think he's a bit disappointed he dropped a couple of spots, but still in one piece. So we'll get out. I think he's starting out a pole, his first pole, I think. So uh, he's got the SA champ on his outside. So needs to get out there and give it a crack. And here we go. To the conclusion, it's not the pit crew anymore. It's the driver. It's solely on him now. <laughs> <laughs> you better fucking cut that out before he sees it. <laughs> well, it's never our fault. <laughs> so heat eleven, we'll see the sixty-six of Sam Martin alongside the one of Tyson Martin. Fifty-three of Nicole Southby, the eight of Daryl Sloan, the thirty-three of Brad Evans, the 50 of Jordan Belitho, the 47 of Anthony Tapley, 75 of Robert Hurd, and the 15 of Hayden Vickers. So a couple of fast quality cars deep in this field. As they race through turn number one and two, Sam Martin with the lead in the 66 as they race their way down turn number three and four, Tyson Martin will get the pass. Done though in turn number four. So Martin over Martin. Then we go back to the eight of Daryl Sloan. Jordan Belitho making his presence felt very quickly in the 50. The Mildura racer from deep in the field up to four. So to Anthony Tapley, another driver, started towards the back and is starting to work his way forward in that 47. But our leader is Tyson Martin in car number one. We have a look at the field as they make the way out of turn number four Belitho trying to make the pass on the Prez couldn't get it done there in turn number one and two but Martin is gone that's Tyson he's way out in front Sam Martin second nice infield shot of the field as they make their way down through turn number three and four but
going back to the pit. I reckon Phil Michelle is going to try and catch up with Sam Martin. Of course, his dad, Mark Martin, the YouTube channel Drifting on Gilligan, and, of course, a solo rider around these parts back in the day. But now it's time to focus on Sam. Phil, he's driven a couple of things, and he drove well then in the wingless. Yeah, he certainly did. As we'll get the helmet off, I haven't spoken too much. I don't think we've ever really spoken to Sam since stepping into the wingless sprint, but uh, Sam done a lot of racing on two wheels, a lot of racing now on four wheels. But the car didn't look that fast on the bottom, but he found a nice groove. Yeah, I really wanted to go up high, but just in the last race, they sort of were a bit quicker on the inside. So it turns one and two sort of pretty good down low, but three and four, she was... Um, I think it would have been a bit better going up high, but I didn't want to take the risk, so I thought I'd make him go around me. Now, one of the newer competitors into the class of the last couple of seasons. What made you go wingless sprint racing? Uh, yeah, we sort of had a few classes that we were thinking about going, but, yeah, just for bang for buck, really. Just these classes, unreal. Like, you get all the hand-me-downs from the sprint car guys, and it just, yeah, makes it in huge fields as well. You're always out there su racing someone, so, yeah. Now, I remember seeing you run around Sidewinder Speedway, so you've been around the sport for a long time. You that old, are you? I am. Yeah, uh, something a bit different. A um, bit safer, obviously. Uh, I don't bounce as, as well as I used to, so, no, nah, it's good to be out here with the boys having a bit of fun. There you go. That's Sam Martin. I thought I'd uh, pull up a different driver. We've already spoken to his namesake, Tyson Martin, already, Kai, but uh, nice way just to meet some of the other drivers that may not get the time that uh, week in, week out. But uh, nice little chat there with Sam Martin in the 66. Yeah, I like the bit where he went, that old, are you? <laughs> but no, uh, it's... Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I already told you I felt old I because, know, of, but because of Joel, but he just said I'm old. <laughs> he rubbed it in. But <laughs> Sam Martin is one of, these, uh, one of these teams, him and his dad. Uh, if you haven't, be sure to watch Martin Racing. Uh, Follow yes, Facebook my, and YouTube. They put a my together. Son, yep, my son Austin is an avid watcher. Yeah, great videos. Loves it. He really loves it. Really good videos and <laughs> explain it well. The team out of Salem. Okay, guys. Nice second there. Had that feel. Yeah, one and two. It felt, felt real good. Um, and I reckon it would have felt good in three and four if I got up on the high line, but. Just didn't want to risk them coming underneath me. So I he was doing what Dad said. Yeah, I said, hug, hug the pole line, it. make him go bloody around. I just want to come out and have a bit of fun, but I've got him nagging me. Get down there, get down there. <laughs> he pressures me into it. I don't even know why I'm racing. <laughs> I wanted to be a golfer. <laughs> okay, guys, didn't make the A main, so uh, we're all packed up, or nearly packed up. This is all staying here tonight. And we've got night two tomorrow night, a little bit hard tomorrow night, uh, not making the A main tonight, so it means one heat tomorrow and uh, probably going to definitely be anywhere from five back to eight starting position, all dependent on how he goes in his heat. Anyway, doesn't matter, we're out there to get a few laps and uh, it's been a good night tonight, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow. G'day guys, just a quick rundown on last night while it's fresh in my head. Uh, heat 1 started from the back and the car cut out just before the start. Uh, I was rolling off the track and I flicked the ignition switch on and off and it fired the life. Um, damage was done though, they were going into turn 1 when I was coming out of turn 4. Uh, went around the pits to ask a few people if they'd had sim similar issues and Darren Allen from Allen Motorsport just said start with the ignition switch so I went straight to my fairy godmother Michael Pitcher borrowed one off him uh, seemed to be working fine and when we took the old one off it was, felt good to start off with and then it just started binding up so 99% sure that was the issue heat 2 was driver error I just was stayed up high too long um, turns 1 and 2 was no good up high and it was real grippy on the inside so I should have got down lower um, as soon as I got clear, but these things happen. Um, heat three, I started P1, had Tyson Martin on the outside. Uh, he made a good start, hit the lead, and then I actually got past him for a brief second because of the one and two being so good down low. And then he just come back around me and sailed off into the distance. I wanted to follow him up higher, but Dad 
gave me an earful to stay low, so I, and he was right, so I just stayed tight. Um, probably could have gone high, three and four, but I had Herdy behind me, and I know he's not afraid to put on a slide job, so I just did, didn't give him the opportunity. Kept the door closed, and yeah, and that was about it. Brought it home for second. Not quite enough to make the A main. I was right on the borderline of making it, so that was a bit of a bummer. Um, yeah, so got one more heat tonight. It's going to be hard to make the A main, but if I have a good race, who knows? Uh, if not, hopefully be at the front of the B and transfer that way. 60 lap of final, so if you keep your nose clean and stay out of trouble. It's probably not going to be so terrible starting at the back. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you when I see you. Bye.